नमस्ते लाइफ इज नेवर द सेम एवरी इयर सर्टन झोडियट साइंस गो थ्रू डिफिकल्ट टाइम्स सर्टन झोडियट साइंस गो थ्रू गुड टाइम्स गुड टाइम्स एंड डिफिकल्ट टाइम्स इट कीप्स चेंजिंग टुडे इफ अ पर्टिक्युलर साइन इज गोइंग थ्रू गुड टाइम्स टुमारो इट विल गो थ्रू सर्टन डिफिकल्ट टाइम्स लाइफ इज नेवर द सेम चेंज इज कॉन्स्टंट सो इन धीस इयर दैट इज इन धीस कमिंग इयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सर्टन साइंस वील हैव टू फेस सर्टन डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन्स विच आर दोज साइंस इन धीस पोडकास्ट आई हैव डिस्कस दीज फाइव साइंस दैट वील फेस सर्टन डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन्स दीस वीडियो इज जस्ट टू अलर्ट यू इट इज नॉट टू स्प्रेड फियर इट इज सिंपली टू अलर्ट यू सो दैट you become more cautious you become more conscious more aware and this can help you to deal with these difficult situations that you may face in 2024 so let's begin life is like that game which you all must have played during your childhood days the game is called snakes and ladders it is a beautiful game because it gives a strong message anything can happen any time life is never the same astrology and life is interlinked Astrology is the light of consciousness that help you realize the true essence of life. Buddha says life is suffering. If you look around with open eyes then you also will agree to the fact that life is suffering. And because it is a suffering it brings forth the treasures of wisdom through which you finally start realizing the vanity of all that is how alexander the great realized when just before dying he said all is vanity alexander the great is the epitome of ambition he defeated many empires and became an emperor and yet at the last moment of his life he says all is vanity at least before dying he realized the truth of life but there are many alexanders in today's world who still are running and running to attain as much as they can they haven't yet come to the state of self realization that alexander the great had come to he had realized that all of this madness of chasing power money sex is useless and that's how his last words were all is vanity vanity means valueless emperor alexander the great says all is vanity means all is valueless so all the blood all the murders all the killings all the loots that he did throughout his life to become an emperor seem to be totally valueless to him i think at least this one moment of self realization proved to be a great turning point for his next birth cycles because he died by attaining the truth of life which very few could self realize in a way i must say that alexander was indeed a blessed soul but what about those who are still living in utter ignorance what about the present day alexanders who are still in the mad rush of becoming an emperor they will also end in utter despair because life is suffering 
and there has been no person in this world who have been able to slip out of this suffering called life the great master and spiritual guru samarth ramdas swami quotes in his local language jagi sarva sukhi asa kona ahe vichari mana tu chi shodhu ni pahe meaning in this world who is happy ask your mind to find out if there is anybody in this human life who has found lasting happiness this is because life is suffering and that is why buddha also says life is suffering but because life is suffering it has a noble purpose the burning up of your ego and the evolution of your consciousness so you see that is why the great wise russian writer quotes suffering is the sole origin of consciousness his name is fyodor dostoevsky and so in the coming 12 months of 2024 certain signs may have to go through more sufferings but these sufferings will open new avenues of higher consciousness which in turn would help you to attain self growth and evolve as a much matured person somebody asked how would you define maturity maturity has nothing to do with your life experiences it has something to do with your inward journey experiences of the inner and maturity is possible only when you are insecure unsheltered and all kinds of challenges and all kinds of dangers surround you and so that is how the signs that i am going to discuss may go through all kind of dangers and challenges in 2024 and it is these kind of difficult situations and challenges that will lead you to the state of maturity so what are those five signs who will face more challenges and more difficult moments in 2024 The first and foremost sign is the sign of Pisces. The second sign is the sign of Leo. The third sign is the sign of Sagittarius. The fourth sign is the sign of Virgo and the fifth sign is the sign of Gemini. Pisces is the most affected sign of 2024. Rahu is going to make his base in Pisces for 18 months and so the entire 2024 is going to be quite a challenging year for natives born with moon in Pisces sign mental restlessness too much of ambition impatience getting cheated facing fraud cases many such things will lead to a havoc in your life when the rahu transits over the natal moon in pisces then such a native is bound to suffer more due to black magic attacks or ghosts in simple words you will not be in the right state of your mind and so i am worried because pisces is my favorite zodiac and in addition to rahu transit in pisces pisces natives are also going through the first phase of sade sati and so if your moon and mercury is not placed well in your birth chart then this can lead to a lot of mental stress which can also impact your physical health especially if you are beyond the age of 
If your children are born with moon in Pisces, then please pay more attention to their daily routine. Ensure that they are not stressed and do not pressurize your children. Many parents try to achieve through their children what they couldn't accomplish themselves. I have also seen parents who want to have a child just so that the child can serve and follow the traditions of their lineage. This is wrong. You should not expect to have a child for such selfish reasons. It is a pity that we have many selfish parents who never let their child have his or her own way. They always treat their child as a commodity and not as an individual. If your girlfriend or a boyfriend is having moon in Pisces, then you can expect some real issues emerging in your relationship, especially in 2024. So stay alert and ensure that you don't end up with a breakup in 2024. For professionals, 2024 can prove to be a very stressful year. So ensure that you find time to relax. Somebody asked me that what would be your message to Pisces in 2024 in just three words. And my answer is in just three words, take it easy. It is necessary that you don't take life very seriously. Just laugh out on things that didn't work and move on. The best remedy for Pisces native is to strictly fast on Thursdays and recite the powerful Narayan mantra. Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Every morning and evening 108 times using a spatik chapamala and then everything will be all right leo moon sign natives will have to deal a lot with sudden shocks accidents and deaths rahu transiting in the 8th house will bring a lot of interest in the occult if you are running through rahu mahadasha then you may also become a victim of black magic attacks during the year 2024. Please be very careful when doing online transactions as you may become an easy target for fraudsters. Just two days ago, I read in the newspaper that a man lost 12 lakhs due to a fraud scam. Someone called him and said, that your Aadhaar card and PAN card has expired and that he need to give OTP to renew it. The silly old man gave them the OTP and in the next few minutes he was looted. His 12 lakh rupees were gone in few minutes. So be aware Leo natives, you could be the next one. If you have young daughter or young son, then please pay attention. They may get addicted to drugs or gaming. If you are in a relationship, please remain mentally prepared because you may face some sudden shocks in your relationship. Your relationship status may change from being in love to being thrown out. So take care and save your relationship. Old men and old women going through major health problems should be very careful as a death-like situation can emerge. During this difficult phase of 2024, I would encourage all the natives born with moon in Leo sign to worship Lord Shiva, recite the Mahamrutyunjay Mantra every day and every night. Perform Maharudra Puja in Lord Shiva temple at least twice in 2024. This will help you to sail smoothly and you will emerge victorious by the end of 2024. Stay alert and prevent yourself from toxic negative people. 
immediately block them just the way i block all those idiots who disturb me by constantly messaging me on whatsapp it is always good to eliminate all those disturbing people who steal the most precious thing that life has to offer it is called peace sagittarius moon sign natives is going to be on the hit list of rahu rahu is going to stay in the fourth house for sagittarius and as you all know the fourth house rahu is a saga of many tragedies and sufferings in life vastu dosh occurs when such transit happens and so start purifying your vastu by doing daily loban in your house watch my video titled how to purify your vastu in that video i have demonstrated the whole process of doing loban in the most simplest way possible rahu in the fourth house can actually lead you into troubles with your mother or you may get too much obsessed with matters related to your home the good thing is that if you have been staying in a rented apartment then this transit may encourage you or push you to buy your own house and you may end up buying a brand new home in 2024 so depending on the aspects of your birth chart this fourth house rahu can either make you a proud owner of a property or may encourage you to invest in new properties in a way it is good and you should not hesitate to expand or buy a new property just don't shift to the new house until rahu moves out of your fourth house in 2025 for many rahu transit in fourth can lead to relocation or sudden transfers to a new place fourth house rahu is always a matter of worry when it comes to black magic attacks during this transit stay alert as you may become an easy victim of black magic attacks stay vigilant and do not trust strangers some connection with foreign land is possible during this transit the best remedy is to perform navachandi havan in your home and also to recite the powerful soothing ram mantra shri ram jai ram jai jai ram 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 every morning and every evening using a spatik japa mala virgo moon sign natives will face more confusion and will feel disconnected or detached in life for evolved souls who are already walking on the path and doing daily spiritual chanting and meditations this transit of ketu over your natal moon will pull you towards the ashram or a monastery kind of life it is a perfect time to disconnect with all those disturbances on the outside and connect with yourself by indulging more in chanting and daily meditations for working professionals this can be a time of frustration as you may not get clarity of where your career is exactly heading to primarily this is a very difficult time for marriage and relationships you seem to have lost the connection you had with your partner you seem to get lost in your thoughts and in your imaginations and this behavior would lead to problems in your relationship or marriage as your partner may find you disconnected from the realities of life think twice before making any major decision or rather take advice from the experts so that you don't mess up with your life by making bad decisions 
द बेस्ट रिमेडी इज टू वर्शिप राधा कृष्णा चैंट द मूल मंत्र ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय टू अटेन सक्सेस इन करियर एंड टू ओवरकम प्रॉब्लम्स इन रिलेशनशिप्स चैंट द राधे कृष्णा मंत्र राधे कृष्णा राधे कृष्णा राधे 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 कृष्णा यूजिंग अ स्पटिक जपमाला जेमिनी नेटिव्स विल बी टू स्ट्रेस्ड ड्यू टू वर्क प्रेशर योर बॉस विल बिकम टू डिमांडिंग एंड यू विल स्ट्रगल टू मीट हिज एक्सपेक्टेशंस एट वर्क यू विल फेस मोर ऑफिस पॉलिटिक्स and your promotion is possible only if you put extra work efforts in making your boss happy rahu transiting in your 10th house will distract your attention from home and family and you will become a workaholic and a time will come when there will be no work life balance no work life balance means an individual who lacks balance works long hours dedicates a disproportionate amount of energy to professional obligations and has little personal time for other equally important parts of life such as leisure activities or spending time with family spending time with friends and loved ones 2024 year can become exactly like this for gemini natives no work life balance so watch yourself and maintain a good balance between work and family life saturn in your 9th house can slow down your success rate you may feel stuck in your career you will try hard to bring more speed and more dynamism in your career however whether you will succeed in your effort or whether you will not succeed is only to be found through your actual birth chart placements and your current mahadasha period to control your mind and to experience real time growth in your career focus on worshiping lord ganesha recite his soothing powerful mantra ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम एवरी मॉर्निंग एंड एवरी इवनिंग यूजिंग अ स्पटिक जपमाला ओवरऑल द इयर 2024 ट्वेंटी फोर इज सर्टनली गोइंग टू बी अ टफ इयर फॉर दीज फाइव मून साइंस हाउ astrology is not one dimensional astrology is multi dimensional because life is also multi dimensional and so if you are running through a positive planet mahadasha or if your birth chart has a very positive placement of moon and a positive placement of mercury then even this difficult journey can become an easy ride so don't get tensed focus on chanting the mantras and focus on doing daily meditations remember through consistent chanting practice you can overcome all the difficulties of life solutions and remedies don't come in a ready made package you have to get up you have to take efforts you have to be consistent and only then the miracle starts happening it all starts from you and my role is only to awaken you so that you get started jai shri ganesha jai guru गणपत नम 
ओम गम गणपत नमः ओम गम गणपत नमः